All right, your question is that should I come to Spain, to leave to Spain at least four or six months or one year to learn flamenco? The answer is not at all. <laughs> well, you are welcome here and, and of course I like that people come to visit me every month, many of the students come once or twice a year, we play on TV every time. And for you to see, they will post up the description of this video our performances with the students and people who learn from Skype to play and we play in TV there every year once or twice so people come all the time that's great and of course you can come but that you need to come to Spain to learn guitar forget about it because why the method we developed online the Skype system this method and I will post the description of this video what is about this method consisting of, can be defined in three words which are, don't repeat mistakes. That means we have supervision, we have proper material, and, and of course proper practice, and then that's it, that's success. So many students come, foreigners, people that don't speak one word in Spanish, they come here, and even the gypsies and people from here say, my God, this guy, wow, how can he play like that? And he can't even count the music, like, it's incredible. <laughs> It's true. And I tell you one thing, based on results, the students I have now, which I have around 120 active students, I see 120 people a month, the ones playing better are the ones who learn from Skype, not from here. <laughs> the ones from here play less than the ones that play with the method, from online method. Why? Because they use all the time the, the videos to, so for support. They know how I, I tell them how to use this thing specifically. And therefore, it's the same like if they are playing with me all the time. So, there is no need. Before, this is one of the most common cliches in, in, in the flamenco environment, also for dance and, and for guitar as well, that before internet, certainly you have to come to Spain because unless you come here, how you will take the lessons or learn the stuff, play with dances, play with this and that, you have to come. But now, there's no need because you can be in Australia or anywhere and I, from here, we connect there in the Skype and it's the same like if you're in the same room like me here. So the, the air of Spain or the mountains here or anything will not make you play better, that's for sure. That's just some romantic idea used to sell to tourists and stuff. And of course, a great place to live and everything, but not that you need to. This is one very old thing that you need to come to Spain to, to, Spain to learn guitar. Not necessary at all. And of course, you come here, and people come all the time. And you're welcome to come, everyone. They take intensive courses, one week, say, one week intensive courses, things like that. And yeah, that's great. We have to come here because here, this music is from here also, right? But not that you cannot learn this from your country. In fact, 
I'm happy to be pioneering in this thing, to teach the Paco de Lucia's technique, style, and, and his music online, and the people from all the world, just think what Paco did. Music, flamenco music, is known in the whole world because of Paco de Lucia. You ask any name to go to Thailand, or far places, far away, and who, who do you know who is a flamenco artist? Paco de Lucia, you would answer. So he brought this to the whole world, and then therefore we are doing this thing for everyone. And th that's why these lessons are in English. Why? Because we don't want to discriminate people. It's because precisely because this school, CAG, which is an educational project, Canadian, in Spain, because I am from Spain and they are from Canada, but we are here. And yeah, the openness to bring this to everyone. If we speak the lessons in, in Spanish, right, explain them in Spanish, the guy who is there in Japan or somewhere far away, right, in Egypt or Arabia or anywhere, they will not learn it. So, because most of the population of the world runs in English, and because Paco wanted to make this for everyone, and I am a follower of Paco, same philosophy. This is for everyone. No need to be or living here or from Spain. That's another thing that, that some people used to sell to tourists to, to say they disqualify you just by your birth. They would say, well, you are from, from Holland, from Germany, forget about it. You cannot do this thing. You need to be born here in the in the groups of of Granada first. So next reincarnation. <laughs> this is a nonsense. It's a pure nonsense. Yeah, not at all. If you get the proper training, it doesn't matter where are you from. This is not true. In fact, Paco, greatest music he played, with whom he played, with Jim McLaughlin and Aldi Meola, and with Chief Korea, who are from the United States and England. So what is about this? Of course, the tradition, the so-called, the dinosaurs will, will lament and will, will protest at this thing. So, but who cares? I don't care, neither Paco cares for that. Read the interview we'll post in the description of this video, in which Paco explains, I have to go away from Spain actually to play better, because here nobody wants to listen to this innovation things, this new stuff. They want me to play all the time the same things, so I have to go away actually from Spain. So if you follow his example, what's the matter of thinking you have to be in Spain only? That's not the Paco de Lucia's way. And therefore, that's why another thing here you come and take one lesson and that's great right then you come say two hours to a student then i am with you two hours there and now after that if you don't practice the proper material which is specifically personalized for you with the videos then then you're not going to be more than the guy with six hours in front of of, of the videos playing with me all the all what i explained him to study and of course you don't get the same result one, one can be in, in China and the other here and, the, and one more in, in Finland and, and then what? But that's not, that's not the thing. The thing is how are you training? Are you training properly? Do you have supervision? Or are you trying to do yourself things and, and be confused forever? That's what, that's what the question is. Not where you are. The geographic location will not make you play better. That's, that's what I'm saying. Of course we have good friends here all the time and we enjoy that the students come and play. That's great, but not that that's what is making them play. What's making them play is their training, right? And their sincere desire to improve in guitar. That's why, and that, that's, you get that being away from the zone of comfort, which I will also post in the description, because the, the more we start staying in the zone of comfort, the more we don't grow. Either we are here in New York or anywhere. I also live a lot outside, I live seven years in Canada, five in Italy, many there, but take this and it doesn't happen anything. Right? Look, Paco de Lucia lived 25 years or 30 in Mexico and, and most of his music was composed there. Does that mean that this is Caribbean music? Because he lived there in the, Car in the Caribbean, I will post the description also, his the latest documentary. Not the one they will make this year, but the last one, I think it's 2003, something. it has subtitles in, in English. And you can see him there in his house. 
the Caribbean, in Mexico, and, and he lived there for 30 years. All his music he composed there. All the records you listen are composed there. That I have been there many times in that house. So, and he died there as well. How is that? So, means it doesn't matter where you are, really. Right? He didn't do it in the, in the groups of Granada. No, that, that's a tourist statement. If someone tells you you have to be from Spain or here to learn, then that's, that's a tourist pitch. That's not the reality, I'm telling you. Just look at him. When he succeeded more, when, it was, when he was dealing with foreigners outside of Spain, and then he, of course, in Spain they have to acknowledge his merit. But it's not that they, they were the bigger fans always, or everyone liked it here, like him here. You know this very well. Just read it. The year after, he launched a Moraima album that reinvented the flamenco music. And he said that I have to go away from here. Read it. It's in the newspaper. I will post the link there. It's a special issue in making the magazine for, for Paco de Lucia. Right? So we have to understand why things are said. And, but one thing I can warranty you, if you desire to learn, even if you have five minutes only to practice, or twenty or ten, it doesn't matter. And if you study, you practice well there, wherever you are, follow the study program properly with supervision, you will succeed for sure. It doesn't matter where you are. And then, if you want to come, you come. But know that geographical locations are not making us better players. <laughs> Otherwise, I we will go, go, all go there. Right? Suppose I, I said in the, in the Fiji Islands, if you go there, you will play like John Coltrane, like Bill Evans or Michael Brecht or anything. We go there to play like that. <laughs> Seems a joke, but sometimes people believe things that I know. This is very much invoke this mentality of saying things like that. But it's a condition to be receptive to learn, really, not the location. So I hope that answered your question. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.